Hello and welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we've got Isaiah 40, 29. The Lord, the everlasting God, gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. So, um, yeah. So this week, it is Thursday. I'm really late recording. And that is because uh, I have had some sinus issues. It's 100 degrees with the weather, with the wind just blowing. It's drying out my sinuses. Um, a lot of uh, drainage. And the last three days, I've had a headache so bad that it was into my ear and my jaw. And I was literally getting up in the middle of the night every four hours to take my medicine so that I could get all this clear. Um, right now, I just have that groggy balloon head, but at least I don't have pressure. My jaw doesn't hurt. My ear doesn't hurt. Um, yeah, it, it's not a good thing. So I have noticed as I get older, I get these little attacks and then it's over with, but now I've just got all this drainage and ugh. so, but I did for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the only thing I did was go to work. I didn't get up early in the morning. I didn't do any chores. I didn't do anything. I came back home from work, took more medicine, went to bed. So, and the medicine was making me groggy. So, I don't know. 100 degree weather, plenty of wind, but it's a hot wind. And it just is stirring up all kinds of junk in the atmosphere. So, all right. Uh, Saturday. I am sorry. I did get up and take my medicine this morning. I'm not tired. I'm just yawning. So, um, it is what it is. It, it will pass. Thank goodness it will pass. <laughs> it always passes. So, Saturday, um, I did a bunch of cutting apart. So, I had a lady ask me to make seven of the memory pillows out of someone's t-shirts so this one is a little crooked it's a little off but you know they're never going to be perfect um and since her and i haven't really discussed a price i just probably won't charge her a whole lot <clears throat> so i'm not too worried about them not being perfect um i did buy some interfacing and if she gives me back my 12 dollars, i got it on sale so you know that's all I have in them is 12 bucks in my time. So it's not like I'm out a lot. Um, she doesn't like them. She doesn't like them. Uh, I told you guys, I am not into altering under pressure. I don't do wedding dresses. I don't do, I, I've done mending for many of people. I've fixed things. I've altered things, but if it's under pressure, it's not. I sew for fun. And if it's not going to be fun, then it turns into a job and then I don't like that. I, I just don't like being put on a deadline. Now, this is July. She has seven of them. I have one done. And she would like to give them for Christmas if she could. And that's all she said. So, I've made the first one. I spent Saturday. I literally gave myself a blister cutting all of the t-shirts apart. Um, but I did the sleeve pocket. I took the sleeves, searched them together. And there's a hidden pocket in there so that they can put stuff in their pillows to show grandma, grandpa, whatever. Um, I did these several years ago. When I say several, I'm talking 15 for a family that had a dad that passed away unexpectedly in a, a oil rig accident. And she said that the pockets were something they would stuff stuff in there to share with their dad and um, she had put a picture of each individual kid and then a family picture in each one of them so um, I just make them with a flip with a flap this is extra material it doesn't have any um, interfacing in it it just is what is used to cover the top flap so yeah it this one because it was a smaller t-shirt doesn't really have it I like it to come down a little bit further but you know, hey, you make do with what you're doing. So the first one is done. All the parts are cut apart. I just have to put them all together. 
um, I have all this interfacing cut, all that kind of stuff. So, um, let me grab my stuff here. Yeah, I have other things to show. So, I did that and cut all the t-shirts apart on Saturday. On Sunday, my finger hurt and I didn't want to anymore. <laughs> I didn't want to work on the pillows. So, I didn't. I made Tori's uh, challenge videos for her shorts, or in my case, I was making pajama pants, but it's all the same. So, I got this material on sale for $3 a yard, bought all that they had, um, and I got my pants done. So I made, I have finished one video, and the first video for Tori's challenge is, um, she uh, still has the bag. I haven't talked to her to ask her if she got the second bag done, because she'll need it when she does these, she'll need to know how to guide with that foot. So, um... I made the first video to teach her how to make a pattern, show her how to look and roll this and, you know, and that way she can look at her shorts and decide what kind she wants, how she wants them to fit, blah, blah, blah. These, I whipped up making the next challenge video, but I don't have that video put together. So, um, yeah. Then I cut out the top for that. I have enough for the top. But what I didn't have, and, and remember I bought all that there was because it was $3 a yard. Um, I didn't have a lining for the inner upper uh, part of the uh, pajama top. So I went into my stash and thought, I have to have something. And I looked around and I have the pink left from my other pink skirt. So it doesn't match exactly the pinks that are in there, but it's going to be just the front uh, interfacing or inner lining for my pajamas. And because they're pajamas, I don't care. So I will be cutting out. I just have to cut two pieces out of this. I have the top all cut apart. I have the bottom of the top made. I just don't have this area of it done um, front and back. So as soon as I cut these out, line the front and then put the back on and it will be good to go. Um, I went down Sunday and I swapped out shirts. I hadn't planned on swapping out shirts, but I had gotten all of our day's shirts done and repaired and patches on them and he was good to go. And he looked at me and says, can you take this one? I busted buttons off. So I have another one. We traded out. And then I started to hem on this. And have you ever had one of those days where you just things don't go right. Um, and Sunday I literally did the videos and it just was off. And I think that was the start of my head issues. So I started to hem the sleeve of this and I didn't even get halfway through and I jammed my needle up and I did, but I am trying to do a uh, rolled hem. And if you remember, I have that rolled hem foot and I'm not very good with it. So yeah, a little frustrating, but I'm getting there. I do think that all of the stuff that it shows, they don't press it, but I think I'm going to press this so that I have a little bit of a crease to go by um, because everything shows freehand and I'm not to there. And this is not an easy one. They say start with cotton. So what I do is start with this. Yeah, but um, I did hope to have this shirt done so that I could wear it with these pants that I have on because it would look really cute, but not going to happen. So, yeah. Sorry, my sinuses are draining something awful. But I did that, and then I also sat and crocheted on that reversible bag. Um, I'm getting there one row at a time. I really wanted to have that done, but then I've got the pillows to do, and you can see those are the boxes of pillows and the pillow forms right there. So I need to get stuff done and out of here so I can clean up this room again. Um, I did tell roommate, uh, roommate asks every Christmas, what do you want for Christmas? And roommate and I have had this discussion where we don't want a bunch of junk, if we don't need it or want it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I told roommate I wanted a new sewing box. Mine is the plastic of the 70s. It's a hand-me-down. The handle's gone off of it. It's got big cracks in it. It is what it is. 
and it's probably time to replace it. So I said, if her mate could find me a decent sewing box, that would be awesome. So yeah, roommate's been looking online for sewing boxes and stuff, and we've just been kind of hanging out inside a lot. Uh, we mowed everything, got everything done, we needed, um, my car has an issue, and that's the only thing I didn't get done. So, uh, roommate's dad has always been a mechanic, and roommate learned right along with him, you know, growing up doing that, and my car uh, started blowing hot air, so it needs Freon. Well, I went and I bought a can. Now, I did not think that buying a can of Freon was a big deal. Um, roommate's father has the thing out in the garage. My grandpa taught me to do it years ago. So I go and I get a can of Freon, and I come back, and I'm going to charge it, and wouldn't you know, I get a defective can of Freon. I kid you not. When you screw the little thing down in to poke the hole in it, let it go up the pipe, it wouldn't poke a hole. It would not. I've got it screwed down. Roommate says, oh, do you even know? I said, I've done this for years. Not a problem. Roommate looked at it and said, you got a defective can. So I still don't have air conditioning in my car. I drove roommate's spare car um, the last three days. Today I'm back to my car because um, roommate wanted to use up all the gas and I don't have the stuff, the cleaner, to put through the tank so that I can go gas it up. So I've got to go today and get uh, Freon, but it's 100 degrees outside and I don't have air conditioning. So it is, to put it politely, it is going to S-U-C-K. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. It's just one day of my life. I'll be fine. So, um, yeah, there's that going on. I know that this is short and sweet. But honestly, my head is draining. I'm trying to catch up on housework before I go to work. Um, I just need to get some laundry done and some dishes done. That's it. So, but I'm going to get off here and get that done. And hopefully next week I'll have finished pajama top to show you, finished top to show you, and maybe another pillow. I don't know. Um, with the heat, like I said, staying in pretty much. It is, I think, supposed to be 105 today with a hot wind. Go figure. All right. I will see y'all next time. And thanks for watching.